Hi everyone, I'm Tim with V1 Sports and today I'm going to show you how to log into the V1 Pro app and how to perform an online lesson summary. When you open up the app, you'll be presented with this login screen. As you can see, I've already typed in my details, so you'll go ahead and do the same with your own. The next thing I like to do is press remember my password so I don't have to log in. Then you can press the login button. And on this next screen, you'll be presented with all the V1 branded academies you're associated with. So go ahead and select yours, and I'll select mine. Now we're in the app. The next thing you'll want to do before you can start an online lesson summary is we need to add in a student. For that, you'll go to the students list at the bottom. And as you can see, I've already typed in a few different students here. If you want to enter in your own, you'll press the plus sign at the top right and you'll see several different options of how you can enter in a student's details. But the one you'll use the most is enter details myself. Now you're presented with a new student record and all you have to do is type in the student's name, email address, and mobile phone number. The email address and the mobile phone is going to determine where your lesson will be delivered. So since I've already entered in a few students, let's go back and I'm going to press and hold on one of my students' names to select him as the current student. Now after you've selected your current student, you can click on the library tab so we can pick a video. I'll go to models and let's pick Adam Scott's swing. We'll analyze it. And now that his video is open up in front of me, we can press the V1 logo. And to start the lesson, we'll press start lesson. Now that the lesson has started, you'll notice at the bottom that the countdown timer is going. You have up to five minutes to actually do your lesson and you can see the name of your student at the bottom. While the lesson is recording, you can play the video and move it around. You can even use the drawing tools at the top right. You can use different shapes, different lines for teaching. And once you think you're finished with your lesson, you can press the V1 logo at the top. That'll pause your lesson. Then you can hit End Lesson. Once your lesson is finished, you can choose to discard your lesson and start over. You can press Review Lesson so that you can watch it just to make sure you spoke clearly and made all your points. You can send the lesson now so that your student can receive an email with their lesson. Or if you don't have internet, you can always save to the Outbox and send later. That's all I have to show you today. If you want to see more videos like these, please follow us.